Hi bee friends! It is going into winter here in Western Australia so I'm going to take the hives down a box and do a hive inspection at the same time. So I thought I'd take you along and show you what I do. Um, again, I might forget some things so I actually developed a, uh, <clears throat> a checklist and I'll link it below. That will help you a lot. It'll give you prompts exactly what to look for and um, let you write notes and whatnot. I find that it's very handy so you're not trying to remember everything all the time. Especially if you have more than two hives. Um, a little bit stuffed up today from a very particular virus <coughs> that I had two weeks ago and still a little bit congested. But that's okay. We're still gonna do some fun bee stuff. Um, it's about 17, 18 degrees today. Um, I recommend doing <clears throat> inspections uh, only if it's above 10 degrees and I generally uh, do them 15 degrees or, or warmer because you don't want to mess with the bees too much. So if you're wondering what to do, if you have bees now and you're like, what do I do? Uh, I definitely add some hive inspections on the list of stuff to do. And there's some bees hanging around me. <laughs> um, don't want to do them too often. I, in the summertime, only do them every month or so. I did do them more when I first started out. However, um, now I just make sure that there, are, everything is looking good on the outside of the hives and um, as long as that's okay, I do it probably about every three, four weeks in the summertime. Just to make sure everything is good and then you want to check the honey stores as well because you'll be extracting, hopefully, in the summer. This year was not so good for us. We just didn't have the flowers here. Um, I was not the only one. A lot of beekeepers complaining. But that's okay. That's fine. We're going to get the bees ready for winter and um, let's do a hive inspection. I'm going to get the smoker ready and then we'll get into it. Okay, smoker's ready to go. Got it going pretty well with just the twigs and leaves and sticks that are on the ground and so a bit of newspaper. You can pretty much use anything though. I mean, nothing toxic, of course. So, when you are inspecting the bees, the first thing I do, oops, vehicle's in the shot, first thing I wanna do is just look to see the condition of the outside of the hive. These holes are a bit plugged up, so I'll need to clean those out. Just make sure that there's nothing wrong with the outside of the hives. And then, are the bees coming and going? It's a bad sign if they aren't. And unfortunately, the hive next to this one, there are no bees coming and going. Again, it was a hard year this year. There weren't any flowers. <clears throat> Just did not happen because of the weather. So, sometimes this happens. Anyways, and this hive, this hive looks to be pretty strong. So, I'll give it a couple of puffs of smoke. Just so they're not too angry with me. Okay, it's still going, okay. And then I'll open it up. Okay. So, you don't need too much for hive inspections other than your handy, handy checklist, smoker, and a hive tool. So, what you do, just pry the lid or the roof. Usually this is sort of stuck with propolis. Okay. I didn't make anything up here, which is great, which means my hive mat is working. Take this mat off. There you go. This mat is working. They didn't get up there. Let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> It helps to have a table to put everything onto. Um, I don't at the moment, and that's fine. Uh, but I've been putting stuff onto the ground, and it definitely saves your back if you 
don't have to do that. Okay, I just take this top box off. Looks reasonably empty. Look, usually in winter, I leave them at least a full depth eight frame box of honey to get through winter. I don't normally feed them throughout the winter. Um, this year we did pretty poorly. So, and we didn't extract once this year, which is the first time that's ever happened to me in eight years. But anyways, you can see I actually don't even really need this. It's not even all that glued together with the propolis, and normally it is. These aren't even used. Brand new. So, that is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to feed the bees for the first time in my life. But that's okay. Can't expect it to be sunshine and rainbows every time. Let's see what's going on in this one here. I'm just breaking the propolis with my hive tool here. And then prying out the frame. Go this way. This is a plastic frame. Don't normally use plastic. I was given some of these. And it is empty. There's bees, but it is empty. So, good thing we're doing an inspection. I know that they need food. Right. Not ideal. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take this first honey super, or the honey box off. We're going to look down in the brood box and see what's happening down there. Okay. Now, it helps to have your hives up onto a table so you're not on the ground doing this. But look, this is just how we set it up this year and I haven't changed it. So they're on blocks and we haven't made the hive stand yet. It's on the list along with everything else. So usually there's quite a bit of propolis. You've got to pry this up from each corner. Just do it nice and gentle. In the spring I clean these um, clean excluders up with some boiling water and the wax comes off perfectly. That's actually not too bad. So. Now, we're going to have a look down here, see what's happening. Again, I made a checklist so I didn't have to remember what I'm looking for and to help other people as well. Ooh, this is nice and tight. I usually start from the outer, an outer frame somewhere. Start with those first. See what's happening. Empty. What do you know? Empty. Oh. Start of a queen cell there. Not so great. It's okay. Put that aside. See what's happening. Now, this is a pretty good example of when the bees aren't doing all that well, which is good. We got to come in here and check. Sometimes things are great and other times not so much. So it's good to see it all. So now we're just going through systematically and what I'm checking for here is I'm checking for honey stores and eggs, egg stores, worker eggs and brood eggs. And then I want to make sure that I can find the queen, which is difficult sometimes. Oh, it's a very interesting double queen cell. Pretty ugly. <laughs> but when I'm checking for a queen, she stands out if you're used to looking. 
but if not, it can be kind of difficult. So what I do normally is if this is all full and they're all moving around, especially in the summer, it can be kind of hard, but basically I just look this way, go down, scan back and forth, and then I do a quick up this way because she could be hidden in there somewhere. She's not. It's not very hard. There's not very many bees on this frame, but that's okay. She's probably deeper in the hive somewhere. I'll just put this one aside. And you can see, well, you can't. It's actually quite difficult. Those frames are, those cells are empty. So she might not even be in here. Maybe she left, <laughs> which is fine. I might leave too, <laughs> if there was no food. Okay, this one's a bit heavier, but it's not looking good for Miss Queenie. I don't see any eggs at all. Not saying that she isn't here, but if she is, she's doing a bad job. Yeah. If you need to move bees, you can just blow on them. Generally, they'll move out of the way for you a little bit, and then you can keep looking. Now, she's not on there, <clears throat> and I don't see any eggs. Normally, if I can't find her, she's being particularly elusive. I can't find her, and then I see fresh eggs, then I'm not too worried. But right now, I am slightly worried. Okay, this one's not even drawn out. This is going to be an example of a terrible hive. And that's, it's okay. It's really unfortunate. And I don't see her and I don't see any eggs. Keep looking, just going through the frames one by one. Just checking to see if she's here. I'm trying my best not to squish anybody. That one's nice and good. It's very heavy. Lots of bees. But again, I don't see any capped uh, eggs. I don't see any fresh eggs. Oh, nope, there's some capped eggs here. Okay. So she was here in the last 30 days. I requeened these all last year. So she's brand new queen. There we go. Some capped. You can see the brown caps on the cells. And then some are not capped and you can see a white grub in there. It's gonna be kind of difficult to see. So she was in here. There's some fresh uncapped honey as well. If you hold it up into the sun, you might. <laughs> Better look looking into the cells. Yeah. Wowee. 
just take a while to scan the frames. Sometimes the bees will be clustering around the queen as well, and that's how you know she's that's how it's an easier way to spot her. Normally you'd be <laughs> looking in a healthy hive, you'd be looking at full frames, just full of capped worker brood. Uh, and you'd have lots of capped honey on the outskirts uh, of the frame, sort of the edges. And then you'd have a little bit of uh, drone brood as well. It looks like I have not seen one drone in here, so they've probably kicked them all out for the winter, which is good. That normally happens every winter. Uh, the drones are the male bees. And I don't see her. She has properly run away if she's in here. Uh, you want to make sure that there's definitely a lot more worker brood than there is drone brood. If you see a lot of drone brood, drone brood is a lot um, higher, like um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that, higher. It, it's um, raised quite a bit more. You, you see they're bigger because the drones are bigger. I don't see her. And if you have a full, a lot of drones in the colony, that's a big drain on the system. And you might have a laying worker. Could be an indication of a problem. Oh. Looks like she's on that one. Mm. I'm not seeing too much of anything though. But at least the bees are being gentle today. Whoa, that was really stuck down. Try this one. Proper stock. Eh, okay. Let's see here. I can see some bees with um, pollen in their baskets and their little leg baskets, so that's a good sign. But quite a bit on, of uncapped honey for a brood box. You'd want to see a lot more brood in a brood box if this was going well. You can see some stored pollen. I still have not seen a fresh egg. So she might have taken off in search of a new life somewhere else. And I don't blame her. sparkly honey but no queen. Might be able to see some of the honey. Just uncapped honey in here. So maybe some let's see it on the other side. No, pollen and honey, no eggs. Not a good sign.
Hmm. All right, last frame. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. I'm going to try to hold it up into the light, see any fresh eggs. It kind of looked like a, a teeny tiny white tic-tac almost. I'm gonna say I didn't see her. Could could be wrong, but I didn't see any fresh eggs either. Saw some older capped brood and then some uncapped larvae. But this it's not a very good sign for this hive, to be quite honest. <laughs> this is why we do hive inspections. See if she's down here in the box. She could be down here hiding. I would. Nope. Not that I can see. Normally you get pretty good at spotting them. Some people mark their queens as well, which makes it a lot easier. I just have not bothered in the last couple of years. Um, well, there we go. There's an example of a terrible hive. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We'll write it all down. We checked for disease. We don't seem to have any pests. Checked for the queen. She's not there as far as I can see. Not good stock of eggs. Honey or any capped brood. Not good stocks of anything, really. Um, so going into winter, I'd say this is pretty grim. Uh, we did have an extremely bad year, like I did say. Uh, first time in eight years that I've never been able to extract for, through the summer. There just were no flowers. But that's okay. Anyways, like I said, I do have a checklist. So you can check off exactly what you're looking for and make notes about treatments or what you've seen in the hives and what you need to do next. Um, with this hive, I might check again. Oh, there she is. I see her. I see her. She's running away. Oh. Where'd you go? I saw you. I saw her. She's here somewhere. Where'd you go? Okay, so she's here. There she is. She's still in the box. She's trying to get away. Where'd you go? Wow, she's good. She's really good. Can't see her anymore. Where are you? You didn't leave, did you? Please don't leave. <laughs> Lost her. Excuse me, Miss Queen. What happened to you? You were here. Okay, look, she's doing a terrible job. Brand new queen from last year. But at least I know she's here. 
maybe it's just not bright enough out. Look, I'll just have to put up a photo of a queen so you know what you're looking for. She's got a big booty. Not to be confused with the drone who's got more of like a big head and a bigger body. The queen has a big bum for laying eggs. Yeah, I don't even see her anymore. She's good. She's really fast. Oh, there she is. Ta-ta-ta! Big booty! There she is! Judy with the big booty! Uh, okay, she's out of the hive now. We, we got a situation. Alright. Right. There we go. There you go. Thank you, Queenie. Right, she's in there. My hat's falling down. Try to get this hat out of the way. Okay. To try to save this hive, I'm gonna feed it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna try to build it back up for winter. I know the queen's in there. That's awesome. Okay. So that's a hive inspection. <laughs> Thanks for your watching and um, happy beekeeping. We'll see you next time. Just try to put everything back in here in order again. Nice and gentle. You don't want to squish anybody, especially the queen. There we go. Put everything back together. You know what? Actually, I'm not even going to bother with that. For the winter? Put one super back on. Nice and gentle. Just sort of get the bees out of the way. There we go. Hive mat. We'll come back and feed them later. That's it. And clean out these hive vents. You want to make sure that the vents are free and clear for the winter, so they're not um, so they can vent the moisture. You don't want moisture building up in the winter. Okay. 
six more to go.